back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how I make super easy and delicious aguachiles. And in case you guys want to learn how I make them, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, and the ingredients for this recipe are one pound of raw shrimp. Here I already have it cleaned. It's already been cut and you know, just ready to go. And I also cut them into little butterfly shape like that. So... That's just what they look like. And you're also going to need four limes. These are the big ones. You're going to need the bean chili, some black pepper, a half a cup of clamato juice, um, some of this sauce that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because, yeah. So you're going to need just about one teaspoon of it. You're also going to need one teaspoon of this um, Hugo seasoning, and about some salt, one cucumber, and I already cut it into moon shape and of course your purple onion and that's, let's not forget the avocado and the tostadas so these are the ingredients now let's get started alrighty guys so the first thing that we're going to be doing is turning our chiles into a powder so I'm just gonna use my blender and you guys this chili is spicy so I'm just gonna use about half of the bag so I'm just gonna put them into my blender and if you have a mocajete that will work even better but I don't so I'm just gonna use my cup here so just about that and then I'm going to put about five little balls of the black pepper and of course some salt and the salt you can you guys can always go back and add some more if you need it so I'm just gonna blend this and then we can get on to our next step alrighty guys so once we have our powder this is what it looks like make sure you get all of it I'm just gonna put it into this glass bowl where we're gonna make our shrimp and then we are going to start squeezing out our lime um, the lime juice so get all the juice out my mouth is watery first so we can start prepping our shrimp in here so we're gonna start throwing our little shrimps in here see how beautiful they look and then we're just gonna wait a little bit until they start turning a little bit pink Mix them up in there. So as you can see, they're already starting to turn color. So we are going to start by adding our sauces. So let's grab one teaspoon of each. throw our clamato juice so just mix it all in there and my mouth is super watery and that's okay <laughs> and next we're gonna add our cucumbers 
And of course, our onion. Alrighty, you guys, and let's not forget our cilantro. So I'm just gonna top it up with some cilantro, you know, to add it more, a little bit more flavor and some color. And then if you wanna eat, you know, if you wanna eat it off of this like that, you can add your avocado and just start eating it. But I like to eat mine in tostada, so I'm gonna wait for my avocado. But this is basically it, you guys. You got your shrimps and everything in there, and it is spicy. This is your delicious agua chiles. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it. Super easy and delicious agua chiles. Um, it's seriously, seriously delicious. So I'm just gonna give it a try. And, and normally, you know, I will put it in a tostada and let the whole juice, I don't know, get all in the tostada and get soggy and just enjoy it like that. But for the video, I'm just gonna eat it out of the bowl. Because I wanna, you know, try the juice. That's the best part. So I'm just gonna grab it. Put some avocado on that. It's delicious. It's spicy, but it's still enjoyable. Can't wait to sit down and just eat it. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I mean, there's so many ways, you know, like to make our chiles. This happens to be the way I make it. So I hope you give it a try. And if you do, please don't forget to send me your pictures through Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. I enjoy look, um, looking at them, and I'm still a little spice. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, please also don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and just share it. And also comment down below what you think. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.